in our last video we have studied necessity of starter and three point starter you are advised to watch that video first and then watch this video in this video we will learn four point starter and starters used for dc series motors in our previous video we have studied one main drawback of three point starter so this is the schematic diagram of three point starter so in this case the no volt release coil which is also called as holding coil it is connected in series with the field winding and this variable resistance r it is connected in series with the field winding to control the speed of motor so if we want to increase the speed of motor we have to reduce the current in the field winding that is ish ish can be reduced by increasing the resistance r now if the shunt field winding current ish is reduced the current through this holding coil will also reduce because both are connected in series and therefore this coil becomes magnetically weak and then it cannot hold the handle in the final position and therefore the handle or starting arm will be released and it will return back to the off position and the motor will be disconnected from the supply even if the operating conditions are normal so this is the main drawback of three point starter and to overcome this drawback we have to use a four point starter so now we will study four point starter which is used again for shunt motors we have studied schematic diagram of three point starter in our last video it is called as three point starter because it has three terminals l a and f whereas four point starter has four terminals these are l1 a f and l2 now what is the basic difference between three point and four point starter now you can see that in case of three point starter this holding coil or no volt release coil it is connected in series with the field circuit and therefore holding current is same as the field current whereas in case of four point starter this holding coil or no volt release coil has been removed from the field winding and it is connected across the supply but if it is connected directly across the supply large current will flow through it and to limit the current flowing through this no volt release coil that is to limit the holding current ihc a current limiting resistor is connected in series with this no volt release coil so the advantage of four point starter is here the holding current ihc it is constant it is not dependent on the current flowing through the shunt field winding whereas in case of three point starter current through holding coil is dependent on current through shunt field winding so in case of three point starter there are two parallel paths one path is starting resistance and armature and the second path is the holding coil 
then field restart and shunt field winding whereas in case of four point starter there are three parallel paths instead of two parallel paths and these three paths are first is starting register and armature so this is one parallel path that it consists of starting resistance and armature then the second path is filled rheostat and shunt filled winding so filled rheostat r and shunt filled winding and in the third path there is holding coil and current limiting resistance so holding coil and current limiting resistance it forms third path and therefore the advantage is the holding coil current becomes independent of the shunt field winding current and therefore the drawback of three point starter it can be overcome you can see here schematic diagram and sketch of four point starter so its construction and working is similar to three point starter which we have studied in our previous video the only difference is in this case this no volt release coil or holding coil is connected in series with limiting resistance whereas the field winding is not connected in series with the holding coil but it is connected directly across the supply let us now study starters used for dc series motors now series motor starters are similar to that of shunt motor starters this starter also consists of a graded starting resistance and this resistance is connected in series with armature so that current at the time of starting can be limited to a safe value the two commonly used starters for series motors are first is starter with no volt release and second is starter with no load release let us now study these two starters let us now see working of first type of starter that is starter with no volt release so in this case the no volt release coil it is connected directly across the supply but if it is connected directly across the supply large current will flow through it so to limit the current flowing through no volt release coil a current limiting resistance r it is connected in series with the no volt release coil now this entire starting resistance it is connected in series with armature and series filled winding so when the motor is started that means when the starting arm comes in contact with stud 1 this entire starting resistance will be in series with armature and series filled winding and therefore starting current will be limited to a safe value under normal running condition this handle will be in the last position and it will be held in that position by the no volt release coil now if there is power failure or if the supply is disconnected then current through no volt release coil will reduce to zero and therefore this coil will get demagnetized and then it cannot hold the handle in this final position and therefore because of spring tension the handle will return back to the off position and the motor will be disconnected from supply in case of 
नो वोल्टेज और लो वोल्टेज द सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ स्टार्टर फॉर सीरीज मोटर्स इज स्टार्टर विथ नो लोड रिलीज इन दिस स्टार्टर द नो वोल्ट रिलीज कॉइल और होल्डिंग कॉइल इट इज कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज विथ द मोटर दैट इज इन सीरीज विथ आर्मेचर एंड सीरीज फील्ड वाइंडिंग in our previous videos we have studied that series motor should not be operated at no load or at light load conditions because if there is no load on the motor current drawn by the motor will be very low therefore the current through series field winding is also low and the speed of motor will become dangerously high because speed n is inversely proportional to flux and therefore series motor should never be operated at no load or at light load now in this case if the load on the motor is reduced then current drawn by the motor will also reduce and same current is flowing through the holding coil and therefore this no volt release magnet will become weak and it cannot hold the starting arm in the final position and because of spring tension the starting arm will return to its off position and therefore the motor will be disconnected from supply whenever the load on the motor drops to a low value thank you